Tonga volcano rocks the world. might also affect climate. Scientists say water vapor injected into the stratosphere by a volcanic eruption in January may have had a slight, albeit temporary, warming effect. An underwater volcanic eruption in the Pacific Ocean in January that was so large that it generated a global shockwave also spewed large amounts of water vapor into the upper atmosphere, where it could cause a small, short-term spike in global warming, scientists said Thursday. The injection of what the researchers estimate is at least 55 million tons of water vapor into the stratosphere could also cause a temporary depletion of the protective ozone layer in the atmosphere, they said. The eruption of the Hunga Tonga Hunga Haapai volcano in the island nation of Tonga on January 15 was the largest in decades. This spawned a tsunami that devastated parts of Tonga, as well as a smaller tsunami thousands of miles away caused by changes in air pressure as the shock waves circled the globe. Because it occurs about 500 feet underwater, the eruption of extremely hot molten rock also causes seawater to explosively explode into steam. A plume of water vapor, volcanic gas and ash reached a height of 35 miles. That increases the amount of water vapor in the stratosphere, which ends up at an altitude of 31 miles, by at least 5%. It's really unique, said Holger Vomel, senior scientist at the National Center for Atmospheric Research in Boulder, Colorado. This hasn't happened since we were able to measure stratospheric water vapor, which started about 70 years ago. Dr. Vomel is the lead author of a paper on the findings published in the journal Science. Like carbon dioxide and other greenhouse gases, water vapor absorbs heat in the form of infrared radiation from the Earth's surface and radiates it back. So adding a large amount of water vapor is expected to add to the heating for several years until the gas is gone. Large volcanic eruptions on land do not release much water vapor, but can inject large amounts of sulfur dioxide gas into the stratosphere, which can have a short-term cooling effect. After the eruption of Mount Pinatubo in the Philippines in 1991, global average temperatures fell 1 degree Fahrenheit, or 0.6 degrees Celsius, for more than a year. Vomel said estimates of the amount of additional warming that the Tonga eruption would add are highly speculative at this point. But I wouldn't be surprised if it was the same order of magnitude as Pinatubo, he said, only from the opposite direction. The extra heating will likely continue longer than the cooling after Pinatubo, he added. Susan Solomon an atmospheric scientist at the Massachusetts Institute of Technology who described the temperature impact of changes in stratospheric water vapor in a 2010 study, said the Tonga eruption could add something on the order of 0.05 degrees of warming to global average temperatures, perhaps over three years. Up to five years. That's less than what we expected from carbon dioxide, which is close to 0.1 to 0.2 degrees per decade, he said. Dr. Solomon was not involved in the Tonga study. All that water vapor will likely also change atmospheric chemistry that destroys ozone, the oxygen molecule that protects life on Earth from harmful ultraviolet radiation from the sun. By drastically increasing the amount of water vapor, it should reduce the amount of ozone, said Dr. Vomel. But that's only temporary, he says, because ozone formation and destruction is a cycle that goes on and on. Dr. Solomon said that ozone loss near the stratospheric and lower atmospheric boundaries would also most likely cause surface cooling, which would counteract the warming from the added water vapor. A study published in July estimated the amount of water vapor injected by the Tonga eruption was about three times higher, at around 160 million tons. <laughs>